welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be checking out the brand new laundry stuff pack from The Sims 4. Thank you to EA for giving me an early access code so that I could show you guys the gameplay to see if it is worth your buck. This video is just going to be the laundry stuff pack gameplay. It is such a huge and detailed pack that I've actually had to do the creator sim items separate to build and buy and the gameplay separate as well. So if you guys want to check out those videos first or afterwards, click the link in the description down below and you guys can check those out. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so I've just gone into live mode and here I have my family. This is detergent. Where are you girl? Detergent is hanging out on some of the new furniture from this stuff pack. This wicked wicker furniture. Cringe is so cute and I love her outfit here from the new creator sim mode and her brother on detergent over here is like fully in patterns. He's a bit of a slob. He has a new hair and he is very lazy. Now, depending on your Sims personality traits, this is also going to affect your laundry because he is a lazy Sim and a slob Sim. He's going to be a little bit messier when it comes to his laundry and his sister detergent is a perfectionist and very neat. So she's going to be a little bit more clean when she's doing her laundry. Um, I also put a pet into the game because the pets might jump up or check out the laundry as well. I just thought that was good to have our little cat bubbles here. Anyway, let's get started. Now, before I start doing some washing here, I did just want to give a quick shout out. This house was built by one of my viewers. Um, so big shout out here to Jenna Boy uh, for building this gorgeous family home. Now, I think this is a really cool house because if we go downstairs, it actually has a basement area full of this incredible garden where you can train your pets. So I just thought like it was the perfect house. Uh, for a little bit of laundry action. So we have the outdoor setup where we have a clothesline and our laundry bucket, but let's start inside with our kitchen laundry here. I've just put it in the kitchen because how many people have separate laundry rooms? A lot of people, but I personally don't. My laundry is in a cupboard actually. I have a European laundry. Uh, I also love the fact you can put these objects on top of the washing machines and you can stack the washing machine and dryer. Anyway, so if we want to go do laundry, uh, you can't just click on the machine and just start doing laundry. Uh, you can upgrade if you want to, but what you actually have to do is get changed. And now if we get D over here, detergent that is, uh, and we go, hey, I want to change outfit. Uh, let's change into her active wear. Okay, did you guys just see that? Some of her clothes, well, her clothes just dropped into the laundry basket and we have some clothes in there now. If Andre, who's having a snooze outside here, if he decides to get changed, uh, I believe laundry is only active on your home lot. So just in case it doesn't work, I'm just going to take him to the home lot real quick. Ew, did he just fart? That is so gross. If we change his outfit into, um, I don't know, his swimwear, because he's like a lazy and slobby sim, he's just going to leave his laundry on the ground. So he's not neat at all. Anyway, let's maybe take it to the hamper. Or maybe let's search the pockets first. I want to see that interaction. Oh, that's so cool. So we can search pockets to see if anything's in there. Uh, and it looks like he just found $10 in his pockets. So there's a good way to earn a little bit of money. Uh, so we can do the laundry. We can wash in the wash tub or take it to the hamper. Let's do that. Uh, now I'm wondering, did I accidentally put not a washing and a dry in here? No, no, these are different because we've got the washing symbol and the dry symbol. Your kids can also use the washing machine, but if they're stacked, they won't be able to reach the dryer. Uh, okay, let's do the laundry. Let's add to washing machine. Uh, Dee can add her clothes in and yeah, let's do a little bit of washing and see what happens. I'm just gonna speed her up just like that. So she's gonna, we have a new animation. She's put it in the laundry, super cute. And we can unload and set the laundry down and move laundry to the dryer or hang on clothesline. Well, the laundry, we haven't even washed it yet. So we're gonna wash that first. Uh, let's get it back here. Okay, cute. You can also add food and flowers, I think, to the wash. Uh, and that'll affect your laundry as well. Like you can put a sandwich in there and it'll make it smell gross, I think, which is kind of weird. <laughs> Anyway, that laundry's going. I don't even know how much it, how long it takes 
Let's see her watch it. Let's see what happens if she watches the laundry. Detergent, come back here. So she's just watching. Wow, I just realized she is very perky in the in the Cleveland region because <laughs> I was seeing what a top looked like and I forgot to put it back. Oh well. Okay, so she's just enjoying the washing. Look, she looks so happy doing the washing. She's like, ah. Oh. I feel so good when I've got clean clothes in the washing machine. Super cute. Well, I guess while we're doing that, we might get Andre to, well, he could only watch the laundry now. Why don't we get Andre to enjoy the outdoors and, oh, she, okay. She did all the laundry in the basket. All right, well, let's get him to change his outfit again. Uh, let's go back to our everyday wear. Okay, and you'll also see the clothing pile has a cleanliness level, so it's use, and a dryness level, dry. So if you're really stinky, I think it says stinky, like if you've been working out, I'm pretty sure it takes that into account. Let's just see if there's more money in there. And also let's wash in the wash tub after that. Do we get any money? I want to find the moolah. Yes, we got another $10. Oh my gosh, maybe that is the easiest way to make money in the game. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Again, we have a brand new animation. I was really impressed we get these new animations and I'm so sorry, but that looks so much like a zucchini. You guys, he's washing a zucchini. <laughs> Why did they pick green of all the colors? Oh, well. Oh, I think the washing, the other washing is finished. Anyway, he's just, oh, oh, I love that. I love that he gets a bit puffed out. That's very realistic. Oh, he just kind of threw it in there. Okay, so we can unload and set the laundry down. And if we do that, the laundry is actually gonna be soaked still. Uh, whereas if we dry it on the line, it's obviously gonna be dry, the quality of it. So there's a lot of detail with the laundry. Uh, we'll look into that a little bit more now. Why is she dazed from watching the laundry spin? Dee so dizzy, her head is spinning like a whirlpool, it never ends. Oh, wow, D. Okay, now we did miss it, but the laundry does make a little sound. It goes, da -da 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 -da, which is kind of cute. Oh, okay, so on the ground here, we have some laundry and it was soaking. Now she is automatically putting that in the dryer because Sims will do their laundry autonomously, which is really good. I don't think she's actually turned on the machine. Uh, so we'll just go to dry laundry. We'll also check out the upgrades too. You, if you have a level five handiness skill, you can make it lint less, which might be an important thing because you can die by fire if you do not empty the lint, uh, the lint catcher thing, which is kind of cool. We'll kill a sim off later because you know I love killing sims. Uh, level seven handiness to make it a speed cycle. Level eight handiness to add a tungsten drum. I forgot what that is. I think that, I can't actually remember what that does. Uh, and then whisper quiet, you just need level six handiness skill to make it so it doesn't make a sound. So that's gonna dry that up and he's still going. So this takes a little while to to actually do your laundry by hand. And it's a, it's a bit of a mess, probably wouldn't put that inside. Uh, yeah. Probably wouldn't do that. But yeah, it's pretty It's pretty cute. I love how you have these two different options. I'm so excited to put the things on the line. Uh, I'm also going to do a little bit of a an experiment. A quick meal, there we go. And just a ham and cheese sandwich because I'm pretty sure we can add this to the washing machine, which is kind of interesting. I'm just gonna put that in our inventory and we'll see if we can actually add that to the washing machine. So let's uh, change our outfits again. Let's change into this sporty wear and her clothes are automatically going to go straight into the hamper. So you don't have to have laundry piles all over your house, which was the case I think in Sims 2 or Sims 3 and it got really annoying. Uh, it's only if you sim has i think the slob or the lazy trait that'll actually do that so let's do the laundry oh oh let's see upgrade oh laundry mm. see i thought i thought you could like add a sandwich to it or something maybe you have to have the mischief skill or the mischief how cute is the sound if the sound is bad it means you did a bad job on your laundry so if we put the sandwich in the laundry machine, I think it would make a bad sound. Uh, but this is all done. So let's unload and set our laundry pile down. Uh-oh, she's dazed again from watching the laundry. And look at that, it is sparkling. It is some sparkling, beautiful laundry. Let's just appreciate this with a little bit of a picture. Oh, 
absolutely gorgeous. So that laundry is sparkling. Um, it's pristine. It's dry and warm. It might be pristine because of her traits. I don't remember. Uh, but yeah, we can put the laundry away, put it in our inventory. Uh, we can do either of those. Now I'm pretty sure there is a cheat. Yeah. So I've got the testing cheats enabled cheat on. And if you right click it, or shift click and do set laundry state, you have some cheats here and you can see all of the options. So the options are you have filthy clothes and it'll turn to filthy. Look at that, gross. Um, we can set it to dirty clothes, ew, gross. Uh, and of course that's gonna affect your moodlets. Um, then there's used clothes, clean clothes, pristine clothes, soaked clothes, damp clothes, and dry clothes. So if you can't be bothered drying your clothes, uh, it's just going to get a pool of water around it. Obviously, that would usually be on the floor. So that's kind of cool. Uh, then um, you can have warm clothes. You can have foul smelling clothes. I think that's when you put the... Yeah, I think that's when you put it in the sandwich or something and there's little flies buzzing around it. Or we can actually go to more choices, fragrant. And this is really cute. You get little butterflies around it. Isn't that gorgeous? So if we set this to uh, pristine and not soaking. Oh, damn it. I want to get rid of the soaking. Uh, dry? There we go. Now it's pristine. It smells beautiful. I guess you can put fragrance in there. I can't remember exactly how you do that, but we'll figure it out in gameplay. And yeah, just beautiful shop, um, beautiful shopping, beautiful washing. Oh my gosh. Wait, where are you doing that? What are you doing? She put it in the hamper again. Anyway. Oh, well, well, that was good to figure out. Now this washing is done. It is obviously clean, but soaked. So we are going to need to do laundry, hang on clothesline. And we're gonna hang this up. I really love this animation. I'm sorry it's dark so we can't see it properly, but it's a really nice animation because it doesn't take too long, but the laundry goes all the way along the line just like that. And I'm pretty sure it takes around 12 hours to dry outside, whereas obviously the dryer takes an hour or something in sim time. So yeah, there we go. We've got some hanging washing there. So that is really nice. Now, if we want to start a fire, hmm, I think we're going to have to do a lot of washing before this lint tray builds up. So I might do that quickly, then get back to you guys. Another thing to add is if you have a maid or a butler, they will do all of the washing for you. If there's washing in the basket or needing to be done. And the only thing is you will need to put that washing away after they've done the laundry. Uh, your Sims will need to do that. And another thing is a few people might want to make a laundry mat. And although Sims won't like just use that laundry on a public lot, you can still do a little bit of storytelling by picking this kind of gray color because these actually have coin slots on them. So you can put them in a public space and make it look a little bit more realistic that way, which is really nice. And if we check outside again in the morning, it looks like this laundry is all done. So let's go out here and take the washing down and see what that looks like. Uh, I believe that's a dress that's on the coat hanger, I think, uh, which is kind of cool. Oh, can you, can you come out here, girl? What's wrong? Oh, and look, she has a moodlet from wearing dry laundry. The household laundry load dried sufficiently. Sometimes it's the little things in life that mean the most. So that is nice. Uh, I'm not really sure why she's stuck. Maybe we'll get this guy to go over here, even though he's feeling a little bit uncomfortable. Oh, he needs the toilet. I'm just gonna cheat that real quick. Uh, there we go. So everybody in the world is happy. Let's maybe put the laundry down so we can see a uh, what kind of quality this laundry is. Uh, so he's actually going to take it off bit by bit, which I really like. Uh, so it's not just like a disappearing act of the laundry all being gone straight away. And then over here, it says we have clean and dry laundry. So that is nice. So we can put the laundry away and it just goes poof into thin air and our laundry is done. If you guys do not want to have to do the laundry, 
but you still want the benefits of the laundry pack, like the furniture and stuff. It's really, really easy to avoid that. All you have to do is not have the washing machine or the clothesline or this washing tub on your lot. If you don't have those items, then you don't have to do any laundry and the Sims won't drop their clothes or anything like that. So easy to avoid if you don't want to do it, but if you do want the additional gameplay, you can totally have it. Anyway, you guys, let me know what you think of this. Um, I think we have to dry clothes 20 times before the lint tray will catch fire and kill your Sims. So I don't think I'll do that in this video just because it's gonna take me forever to make the lint tray full. But if you guys do wanna try that out, uh, I would definitely do that in one of my LPs. And even though it's not a new depth type, it'll still be lots of fun. <laughs> Furthermore, the washing machine is the only object that can kill you with both electrocution and both fires. So that is kind of cool as well. Anyway, you guys, that is all for this video. Please do check out the other videos showing Creator Sim and Build and Buy if you haven't already. Sound off in the comments down below what you think of this stuff pack. I personally think it's totally worth your money. It's a huge stuff pack. It's so detailed. I'm really impressed with it. Anyway, you guys, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Susu! So -so.